see how long the heat lasts. Yeah, three red bars uh, here to my left, and uh, that's a muggy uh, comfort tracker sky high over the next few days. A quick science lesson 101 here. We sweat for a reason, our bodies, because once we produce the water on our skin, it evaporates, and that creates a cooling process for our body. A lot of science involved in that, but the problem, when it's humid, that sweat can't evaporate, and that's why it feels so muggy to our bodies, and that's why this kind of heat becomes dangerous, uh, because you go outside, you start sweating, and you're not cooling as quickly as you would if those dew point temperatures were lower. So here's our problem. Temperatures are in the mid to upper 80s, even touching 90 in a few spots this afternoon. You uh, factor in the humidity, and it makes that feels like temperature. That's that sweat trying to evaporate from our body. Uh, feel like the mid 90s, and I even had some hundreds on here earlier, uh, still showing a hundred down at Elwood City. So that heat index is up there, and it's going to stay up there over the next uh, several days. Now, Doppler radar picking up isolated showers and thunderstorms. I had these in the forecast uh, for the past a few days here. This small chance of an isolated shower in the, forecast, in the forecast or a thunderstorm. And here we go this evening. Uh, this didn't have any lightning on it earlier in the news at, at the top of the hour, uh, but we do have some lightning showing up now just south of Grove City. So an isolated shower storm will be possible on through this evening. I'm also watching a line of showers and storms uh, dropping out of Michigan. Now these will try to fall apart as they move across Across the Lake Erie, but I'm going to keep a close eye on them on into tonight. A bigger part of the storm system out to our west, producing a complex of thunderstorms moving into Wisconsin. Going to watch this through the day tomorrow because by late tomorrow evening, uh, that risk of stronger storms moving our way. Right now, the severe outlook is out west for the stronger storms. Tomorrow, that moves eastward, and that includes all of eastern Ohio and western Pennsylvania under that slight risk. So, scattered severe thunderstorms possible. Uh, when we're in this yellow issued from the storage prediction center. But this evening, isolated shower or thunderstorm uh, just to cool you down and create more humidity for the night. Uh, the rest of the night, just mainly clear skies, some fog, a little bit of haze trying to develop overnight into tomorrow morning. Mid 60s to start your day. As we go through the day, temperatures are going to build into the upper 80s quickly. And as they do, an isolated shower or storm tries to pop up later tomorrow afternoon, but especially into tomorrow evening. That's when I'm expecting some of those stronger storms to push on through here, and that risk will be here at least through tomorrow evening with an isolated shower storm for the rest of the night. Tonight, temperatures dropping to 68, patchy fog, uh, mostly clear skies in between those isolated showers and storms early. The temperatures for tomorrow right back into the upper 80s. A big part of the day tries to stay dry, but by the time we go into the afternoon, showers, chance of thunderstorms right on into tomorrow evening. Now, the big part of Friday will try to stay dry, looking a little better than it did yesterday. A small chance of an isolated shower storm, highs in the mid to upper 80s. The best chance will be into the afternoon. And that's not the case on Saturday and Sunday, though. The risk of showers and storms around on and off through the day Saturday and Sunday. Still warm, still humid. And that changes Monday when temperatures start cooling down. A high of 80. Chance of showers still to start the week. A Tuesday cool. Highs in the mid 70s. And it looks like really nice weather building our way through the middle of next week. Sunshine, cooler temperatures, and best of all, lower humidity <laughs> moving our way next Tuesday and Wednesday. Yeah, that 75 is just for one day, but it is going to feel really nice to have a little bit of a break. Yeah, after <laughs> almost 90 and all that humidity yeah. around, and that's the best part of it, the humidity drops for us. All right, the YSU